please, I'll do anything. Excuse my language. I'll do anything for this torture to be over. Incredible views out over Cape Town, all the head torches. And I, I can't see where I'm going because I'm using my head torch to light my face. But yeah, feeling good. And uh, yeah, what are we? About five and a half K pace. But yeah, just head out the moment time. The only thing I'm worried about is the amount I'm sweating. It is very, very hot out here still, even at this time, about 4 35 a.m. Right, no time for mining. Let's crack on and get this done. Right guys, so that is 10k up in 65 minutes. Just gone over Lion's Head, which you can probably hopefully see behind me as the sun is coming up now. And yeah. Tenth of the way through, feeling all right, and yeah, coming into the first aid station soon to take on some supplies. Right, guys, that's just through the first aid station. So just filled up oh, both is. bottles of water. Thank you, thank you. you. Filled up both bottles of water, a couple, a couple of bits of watermelon, and we'll crack on. And just had a gel coming into there as well. But yeah, it's become getting a bit lighter now. And there, all the runners out in front. See so yeah. Feeling good, enjoying it actually. What are we? Just going up to 12k, 626 average, pace 116 elapsed. Right, we'll see in a bit. Right, guys, we are 20k in, and yeah, feeling pretty good, but taking it reasonably easy. Thank you. Uh, yeah, it's actually got a lot cooler since we started. Thank you. Good, good. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, about to start the biggest climb. Oh, guys. Well done. 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 Ridiculous, be crazy. So, you can hear behind me there's a piper just up ahead for a bit of motivation. Reminded me of uh, when I used to live in Scotland for a few years, but yeah, still stunning views, incredibly tough, 
incredibly tough just scrambling up the train is really really tricky oh really hard but that's where we're heading just up there so steep so steep we're currently tracking at 27 minute k pace up this hill right still smiles let's carry on and get it Right guys, we've got to the top of that climb. That is without doubt the hardest climb I've ever done. Just absolutely ridiculous. And now we're up in the clouds, uh, heading across a kind of very flat plateau at the top of Table Mountain. But just absolutely ruined after that climb. Just aching all over. You know, we're a quarter of the way through the race and oh, yeah, this is going to turn into a bit of a main fest, so trying to put a smile on my face, think positive, but that is the hardest bit of the course done. So happy to get that out of the way. But still, brutal. I don't use that word lightly, but that climb, oh my lord. Right, come on. just going through about 32k aid station and yeah just about, took about five minutes there just to chill out I uh, got a couple of cokes on board we filled the water I'm feeling a bit crappy going in there but um, yeah but sort of perked up a bit now I think I'm actually gonna get my jacket out after saying all of that thing yesterday saying what's the point in taking my jacket but it's actually pretty chilly no, we're very high up here and we're gonna be going down quite a lot Right guys, we've made it to the dam. Look at this. How nice. How nice is this hard ground to run on. Oh, this just feels amazing. It is so hard. Thank you. So hard running in this terrain. You know, there's nobody here. About human is about the only thing that could ever get over all of this sort of stuff. Um, yeah, it's just, it's just so, so brutal. Oh. Down over the edge of the dam, but yeah, this feels so nice. Just running normally, not running at 28 minute kilometer pace. It won't last for long, but I'm going to enjoy this moment. 45k, and I guess we've made it down to sea. Just stunning beach here. All right, guys, just down at the beach, quick stop. We've got some uh, pasta with uh, tomato sauce and rice, and uh, yeah, some more coke just to uh, get the energy levels up and be chucking down a few more biscuits and things. But yeah, big thank you to all the volunteers at the aid station. Amazing support, all the medics and everything, and what a view out to the beach. So yeah, gonna get this on board and get back on the way. 45k done, nearly seven hours. so slow so hard and just being caught by the cut off bus as well but just absolutely bonkers 
but hey, I've only got one life. I'd rather be out here giving it my best shot than sitting on the side of the Right guys, just at the 59 checkpoint. Very nice view. Just down to about half a litre of water. Filled up bottles. I really haven't got long, I've got to get out of here really quick. A uh, load of sun cream on. Changed my shoes because they're full of sand. And uh, yeah, it's all hectic, but I've got to go, so. Right, we're moving again. Just the nicest people at the A station. I'm really, I don't know, about two minutes ahead of cut off getting out of there but they patched me up, we're going. So, yeah, this is the hardest thing I've ever done. I've still got a freaking marathon left to go. Right, I've got to run, I've got to run. But look at this amazing scenery. I'll see you in a bit. Right guys, quick check in. We're at 74K, we've been going for 12 hours, so. I guess that must be 4 p.m. in the afternoon. It's restarted at 4 a.m. obviously. And just wrecked, obviously. I keep saying obviously. This was always going to be the biggest test I've ever given myself. And we're getting there. We're just about creeping ahead of cutoff still. But it's not far behind. Right, come on. Guys, so 75k just through the A station, and we've got to cross uh, a little stream on a log. This is not great, but yeah, we just need to get to the university now as the next stop. If we get there, we've got a chance. <laughs> we've got. A yeah, massive kudos again to everyone at the A station. Just. You come in feeling like death and leave feeling <laughs> like death. I'm a little bit warmed up, I suppose. But yeah, be a really big help and all the people that are taking photos and things and saying really nice things. So yeah, I think we're about 20 or so minutes ahead of cutoff, so we've got to keep moving. If we just can get to the uni, which is 15K away, we've got a chance. All right guys, pretty much sort of death marching in at the moment. Well, in, I wish, I wish. Still got a good 20K of torture to go. But yeah, incredible views out on the side. We're just about holding ahead of cutoff pace at the moment, but I can't really go any faster. The terrain's just a bit tricky and I just don't want to fall over. And so I'm knackered as well. Right, I need my pulse back. But, oh, good lord. Maybe let me know down in the comments what's the hardest race you've ever done because you're looking at mine right now. Just hope and pray we can get it done at the finish. Oh, bring tears to my eyes if we could get it done. Still probably looking more unlikely than likely. But still, come on. This is not what you need at 82k into a mountain ultra. I'm trying to navigate through this massive rock field. Look at this. Oh god. Please, I'll do anything. Oh, excuse my language. I'll do anything for this torture to be over. 18k to go. Good luck, man. See you at the finish. Just left the final A station. 
there's not a muscle in my body that is not screaming at me to stop. But I'm gonna give this last 10K every last ounce of what I've got. Just look at the views and take it in and see if we can get there. Come on. We've made it just about to the top of the final climb. Come on! We can see Cape Town in the distance. This might actually happen. It might actually happen. I still can't run. My legs are in pieces. I'm just going to take in the view. Just try and stagger and drag myself through the final 8k back into town and hopefully we can get there in time because I know the South Africans love closing the finish line for a dramatic finish but come on let's get this last bit done oh my lord what a day never set yourself limits this is not my thing oh, I'm going the wrong way but just believe in what you can do out there. Sweet Jesus, this has been the hardest thing I've ever done. Well, thank you. But, crikey. I'm lost for words. I've just been dry wretching in the bushes. I'm not usually the one chasing cutters, but here we go. Here we go. This is what it's all been about. Just getting. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Let's give it a little run in. Any ounce of energy left in these legs are absolutely sharp. But what a day. What a day for overcoming everything. What a day for overcoming mental, physical, emotional battles. Here we go. Thanks for following along guys. We know no limits. We go out there, we get it done. Whatever. So there you have it guys, what an incredible race. Had a couple of days to reflect on everything now and we're just down here at the Cape of Good Hope, right at the most southern western point of the African continent. If you enjoyed the video, it's all about just getting in, trying some new stuff, just trying things you're not necessarily that good at. And yeah, for me, that sort of mountain ultra trail running does not come naturally living in the center of life. But just love to get out there and give it a go it's like. That whole race was a very elite race, very, very, very difficult. One of the hardest 100Ks out there in the world. There was a stat I read on the website that said if you'd finished a, a, a 100K race with, a, with that sort of elevation before and you came in the top 30% of that field, you might stand a chance of getting around this ultra trail, trail of Cape Town. So yeah, it just shows how brutal that course and the conditions and the terrain of getting around there was. But so proud of myself for digging deep and getting it done essentially. So yeah, there we have it. We're off going to continue our travel. I hope you enjoy this video. A like and let me know down in the comments what you think of it and other things you'd like me to get and try there in the future as well. So that's it guys. Thank you all for support for the Patreons, the hats and the buffs and the hoodies and everything. I couldn't do it without all of your support and it means so much to me. But yeah, thank you from the bottom of my heart and also thank you to Sarah for filming bits of this race and some of the support out on the course as well. It really means so much to me. So that's it guys. We'll see you in the next one.